Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, I thought I should talk about getting pregnant and what you need to do if you're planning to get pregnant. Do you need to see a doctor? It's a good idea. Not because you have a problem, but because we can maybe see if there's a problem that you don't know about. So it's called a prenatal visit or pre-pregnancy visit. You come to us, we look at your history, first with your age, uh, what specific needs are there because of your age. We look at how long have you been married, how your intimacy is, how often you're together, are you using your fertile period? If not, we'll guide you about it. We look at the cycle, if it's regular, if it's not, do we need to test for some hormones? We look at your history, you see if you've had surgery, if you've had any problems, we then address those. Then we look at your family history, if there are fertility issues in the family. We look at your social history. Are you guys, uh, how often are you together? How, what is the possibility of you being together in your fertile period? What kind of work do you do? Are you exposed to any toxins? All of that, after we see all of that, then we may do certain tests. Because the point is that we want you not to be disappointed once you start trying. So what are the tests? The important tests we do are vitamin D testing for the lady and um, rubella antibodies. The vitamin D is related to the quality of the eggs and hence the quality of the embryos. And the rubella antibodies are very important because their presence is good. It means you were vaccinated when you were a child. But if they are negative, we give you the vaccine and then we ask you not to get pregnant for a month while the body is working at producing the antibodies. Why is this particular vaccine so important? Because if rubella, which is also called German measles, if it happens in the first trimester, it causes catastrophic damage to the embryo and then we have to terminate the pregnancy, which is heartbreaking for all of us. So we do the testing, we do the vaccine and make you safe from that. Then once we guide you about your fertile period after of course we have seen that there's nothing wrong going on and nothing that you need help with then we guide you about your fertile period when you should be together how often you should be together and how to make sure that you get pregnant sooner rather than later the young lady or maybe a slightly older lady must start taking folic acid that you must do absolutely there is a reason uh, the neural tube the embryological part that makes the brain and the spine needs folic acid and if there is a deficiency the baby will have problems and those who are diabetic or uh, those who've had gestational diabetes must take a higher dose so that's just one thing that you must absolutely do so what else do we do for you we see when you need to visit us next it may be sooner if you, the lady is over 30 or over 35, over 40, depending on the age, we may call you back sooner. And in fact, we may run a whole lot of tests sooner. Same is true for the gentleman. The age it decides a lot of things for us. So once we have decided on a timeline, so maybe I tell you, okay, three months, you try naturally following your fertile periods three months I may ask you to use an ovulation kit where you test your urine from the ninth day onwards on alternate days or maybe daily and then when you see a spike of the hormone where it is positive you'll know that you're going to ovulate 24 hours later specific time helps you plan better so three months of trying naturally maybe three months with an ovulation kit then come back to us I can then for example track your egg see if you are ovulating in every cycle maybe do it for a couple of cycles tell you exactly when to be together or next step i may track your egg and then give you an injection so that we have a timed release of the egg and you know exactly when you have to be together so it's all stepwise and the, each step is taken according to your circumstances 
So having said all that, these are the steps we go through. One important aspect that we cover is lifestyle changes. The lifestyle changes all contribute to your getting pregnant sooner and they reduce the chances of miscarriage. So amongst those is diet, exercise, rest, sleep and stress, managing your stress. The exercise helps in managing the stress. The diet helps control your weight and also the healthy diet like the Mediterranean diet is going to provide you with omegas and other stuff all the things that improve the quality of the egg and the quality of the embryo so talk, when we talk about lifestyle everyone thinks they know what they are supposed to be doing maybe they do but more often than not they are not actually doing it I look at their sleep pattern it's horrendous screen time is you know off the charts they are not getting enough um, rest because that's when your body heals that's when your body kind of recycles a lot of the bad stuff inside then i talk about their diet everyone seems to know what they need to do but they're not doing it everyone thinks they know how to exercise but they are not doing it just going to the gym and doing weights may not be what you need to do maybe you need to add cardio maybe you need to add some yoga maybe you need to add some meditation so lifestyle changes is all inclusive and one very important thing that people miss is hydration you need to be taking enough water water carries out all the toxins when you pass your urine so it's something that is um, people are very negligent about and water does not mean tea coffee or even green tea because all of these have caffeine they are not they're just going to whatever cup of tea or coffee you have is going to pass out in your urine so it's not really going to hydrate your cells or uh, take out the toxins so you need to make sure that according to the weather wherever you're living you take enough water so the first visit to your gynecologist is a very good idea where you get all the help and you need in case there is a problem and if there is no problem you get the help to plan better about how to go about getting pregnant uh, you should not be afraid of the first visit it is uh, we don't poke around <laughs> unless we really have to and that also with your consent we it's a very good introduction to your doctor and in case of a problem then you know exactly where to go and how you will be managed thank you